with the Philadelphia 76ers absolutely crumbling in the fourth quarter against the Atlanta Hawks and Ben Simmons showing once again that perhaps he is not the elite point guard that he is made out to be, the Sixers are for sure regretting a decision that they made at the trade deadline. Let's get into it. Welcome NBA and Raptors fans to Amateur Hour Sports. This is a channel where you get NBA content with a focus on the Toronto Raptors, usually four days a week on the channel. So if you like what you see from today's video and you want more of myself talking about the NBA and possibly the Raptors in other videos and content just like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below to show your support to the channel on our road to 4,000 subscribers. Thank you guys for helping me hit 3,400, but we are on our way to that big milestone, the 4K, and we'll get there soon with your help. Thank you everybody for the great support coming in over the last couple of weeks. But let's get into our video topic for today. And this video is is really centralized around Ben Simmons, who in game five put up a quite shocking stat line en route to a monumental Philadelphia 76ers collapse. And we'll have our little bit of a Raptor spin on this. But mainly, I wanted to focus on Ben Simmons today because I have been saying, I have been saying it for a long time now, that the 76ers cannot win a championship with, you know, this trust the process era, that you cannot win a championship with Ben Simmons playing as your starting point guard. And the big, big proof of that was against the Hawks in Game 5 because Ben Simmons was basically unplayable in the clutch and there was a period of the game where Doc Rivers actually had to take Ben Simmons off the court in the clutch because he can't hit free throws and if he's not getting a layup, he doesn't offer you really anything in the game other than the fact that he can pass the ball well. But a lot of guys can pass the ball well. Ben Simmons is a three-time All-Star only four years into his career. The 76ers are about to give him a truckload of money and I would say, and I've been saying, I think for a year on this channel, Ben Simmons is not an elite point guard and the Sixers need that elite point guard to go and win an NBA championship. When you have a guy like Joel Embiid, who probably would have won MVP if he didn't get injured this season, a big needs a guard or ball handler, small forward type player who is either just as good as them or like just a tick down below them. Even like the great, the great bigs that we've ever seen like Shaq. He needed Kobe Bryant. And in the most recent times, the NBA, all centers who go and win stuff, like even Tim Duncan, he needed guys like Tony Parker to help him out. You know that you can't win championships on your own. And it seems like if the Sixers would win a championship, Embiid would kind of have to do it on his own because in game five, Ben Simmons had eight points. He had 14 free throw attempts. He was two for four from the field. And he was, oh my God. Four for 14 from the free throw line. Again, unplayable in clutch situations. The Hawks were hacking Ben Simmons. There was a huge run to end off the game. The Hawks were down 104-94. At one point, it was 104-96. Ben Simmons had two free throws, which he missed both. The Hawks eventually went up 107-104 on a 13-0 run. Joel Embiid missed two straight free throws. And the Hawks, they hit their free throws down the stretch. They end up winning that game five and take a commanding lead in the series up 3-2. The Philadelphia 76ers who's easily had title aspirations. They must feel like with this team in place, they can go win a championship. Yet, they are struggling to get past the five-seed Atlanta Hawks in the second round. Now, I will admit the Hawks have kind of shocked me with how good they've been in the playoffs, but this is a five-seed Atlanta Hawks, and they're causing the 76ers this much trouble. The 76ers could absolutely still go on to win this series, but they got to win two straight games to do it. They've done that already this series, but you got to look at the odds here. Atlanta looked like the favorites to come away with this one, but we'll see. Even the Philadelphia 76ers get through, I don't think they'll even go to the NBA Finals regardless. So this team, I don't think, is equipped to win a championship, and I'm putting the blame on Ben Simmons because... He spent four years in the NBA. Now, this is his fourth season in the NBA, and he has done nothing to statistically improve his game. Sure, you know, it ain't about just what you see stats-wise, but I don't think Ben Simmons has done anything to improve his game since starting out in the NBA. Like, why don't we take a look? Let's break down the stats. Stats don't tell everything, but they're a good indicator here. Ben Simmons from his first year to his fourth year. You see his first year on top, the fourth year on the bottom statistically, there isn't really any 
didn't change. I think that maybe there was a very slight increase from season two to season three, season one to season two, but then there was a bit of a drop off in season four. And I don't really understand why, because I would say now Ben Simmons probably has one of the better teams he's had for a full season. I mean, obviously, uh, with Jimmy Butler, Tobias Harris on his team, they were a bit better there. But, you know, right now, he's got shooters around him. The 76, I think, have fixed a lot of the problems that were nagging them last season. There's really no excuse for a guy as talented as Ben Simmons and as young as Ben Simmons to not improve his game. You know, guys who come into the league, sure, they're missing tools. When you're in your rookie season or your second season, you're missing a few tools for success in the league. But Ben Simmons is missing a lot of tools, and he is not correcting any of the things that he's missing, and free throws are a blatant area of that. Three-point shooting is a blatant area of that, and what it can boil down to, I think, is laziness. Laziness. You've had four years to correct this part of your game. Now, I'm a Raptors fan, so I'm going to bring up a point like, you know, I think that for Pascal Siakam, there was a period where he couldn't shoot threes at all. Now, you might want to talk about this season, in fact, he wasn't shooting three, blah, blah, blah. You know, there's a period where Siakam could not shoot threes then all of a sudden in the Kawhi Leonard season he was shooting corner threes then the season after that when he was all NBA second team now he was shooting anywhere from three and he could do it off the dribble so clearly parts of his game that he worked on to improve to get better at so he could better help his team Ben Simmons has been in the league for four years has all the training personnel that he wants with the amount of money that he has yet he still refuses to learn how to shoot you know the three pointers I can live with there are guys in the NBA who can't shoot threes but to show up to a playoff game and get 14 free throw attempts and only finish the game with eight points because you went four for 14 from the line, that's what the game boils down to. It's 104-96, Ben Simmons at the line, and he misses two straight free throws. Then the Hawks turn around. The Sixers don't score again until the Hawks already have, I think it was 109 points in the game. It boils down to moments like that. And there's a reason the Wizards stole a game from the Sixers. Obviously it didn't matter there, but because Ben Simmons is unplayable in clutch situations and you cannot count your point guard as elite if that is the case. The Sixers are certainly going to be regretting the fact that they did not trade for Kyle Lowry at the trade deadline. We knew this was going to happen and I've been saying it. You need to create a system where Ben Simmons is not your point guard. You play him you know, as a small forward you know that I think is easier to cope with that I think is easier to live with but to not trade for Kyle Lowry looking at it now I mean look at the state of some of the 76ers fans online all of a sudden you know I this doesn't count for every Sixers fan this is just one post I saw but all of a sudden it's now Ben Simmons maybe we should just trade him straight up for Kyle Lowry but before you didn't want to part with the young pieces in a first round pick to get Kyle Lowry Kyle Lowry would have absolutely shaped this team and I don't know what it is about Raptors fans who you know thinking like myself thing like hey why wouldn't these teams trade for Kyle Lowry you guys are stupid for not trading for Kyle Lowry wouldn't that be better for us to have him I mean it kind of is but I think it's just a uh, just a mark of disrespect to another one of our guys in our franchise Kyle Lowry oh you didn't want to give this for Kyle Lowry well now look at your sorry team like the Lakers and the Heat going out in the first round or the Sixers who may go down in the second round here oh yeah you really didn't trade for Kyle Lowry you thought you were hot enough to not trade for him but now look at you now look at you going out to an inferior team potentially the Sixers go down to an inferior team like the Atlanta Hawks the Sixers go down to Brooklyn it's whatever but to to struggle this much with the Atlanta Hawks it is very clear what the Sixers are missing a floor general who can still shoot and create his own shot they are missing that floor general who can participate on the offensive end contributing points Ben Simmons was two for four from the field four for 14 from the free throw line in game five I could do that. I could do that. You watching, you could do that for the Philadelphia 76ers. Ben Simmons needs to find a way to make himself a, a better contributor in these playoff situations, and he has yet to do that. It's been four years, and he has yet to do that, and if he still hasn't done it here, when is he ever going to do it? This was a guy that the Sixers decided they didn't want to trade to get James Harden on the team. They said, oh, we can't part with, J with Ben Simmons. We really want James Harden, but we can't part with Ben Simmons. Are you crazy? For James Harden, and you stuck with this guy, 14 points per game, he can't shoot anywhere. If Ben Simmons isn't hitting a layup, he is not putting the ball 
in the basket. He maybe get lucky with the free throws. He's literally worse than Shaq from the free throw line. And the Sixers are easily going to be regretting not trading for Kyle Lowry. I said that this Sixers team at the deadline, I said this team is missing something. They are still missing that piece to be absolute contenders. Trading for Lowry would solidify them as the best team in the East, in my opinion, if not right up there with the Brooklyn Nets, giving them a proper series. But at this point, I cannot see them even going close to Brooklyn in the next round if both teams get there. We won't know. But I think Milwaukee honestly have a good chance of taking down the Philly team if they get past the Atlanta Hawks of all teams. The Sixers definitely are going to be looking back on this one. The people involved with the 76ers are going to start to notice because the fans are certainly noticing. And they are really ganging up on Ben Simmons right now because it's embarrassing to be a guy making as much money as Ben Simmons is about to make not being able to contribute in clutch situation because if you ever touch the ball, you're just going to get hacked and you have to go to the line and you're going to miss at least one, if not both of these free throws. Ben Simmons needs to figure himself out if this Sixers team is going to be title contenders. And honestly, I think the Sixers really need to consider trading him at this point. If not, they really need to add another piece. The actual floor general, who isn't going to hinder your team in the clutch. Playoffs boil down to the big moments, the small margins in the biggest games. And if you have Ben Simmons on your team, then I find that more often than not, you're going to come out on the wrong side of those big moments in those marginal situations. And Game 5 was a prime example of that. Only Joel Embiid and Seth Curry had field goals in the second half of that game and you could point fingers at other guys but again I think that the big moments of 26 in the third quarter big moments boil down to the fact that Ben Simmons has done nothing to improve his game since his rookie season and we are seriously seriously exposing that in this series in the playoffs in general the Sixers really need to have a discussion with him they may need to move on but they certainly will be regretting the decision they made at the trade deadline day when they did not trade for Kyle Lowry and brought in George Hill instead. So what do you guys make of this 76ers series? What do you make of the Sixers not trading for Kyle Lowry at the deadline? I think you're gonna have some regrets, but I wanna hear all of your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. But that wraps up for me for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you are still here, be sure to hit that like button. If you did enjoy the video at any point, show that you made it to the end of the video. It really goes a long way with the algorithm on YouTube to help us reach some new viewers. Also check out our Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash amateur sports. We watch on a ton of NBA playoff games. Also do some other videos video game content on the side. Plenty more games of this playoff, so make sure you check out the link down below. Also remember to subscribe to the channel on a road to 4,000 subscribers. You can help us get to that milestone by hitting that button to stay updated with content. Also hit the notification bell. Check out some other videos by the channel that you may enjoy. And always remember, at the end of the day, I believe what I say. And if you disagree, that is okay. Enjoy the grind, and I'll see you again next time for another video.